Hello, fin lovers. It's Mr. B coming back with a follow-up to my video on the Zis moving bed filter. This video is about a year and a half late, but better late than never. The, the um, filter has been in my tanks now for approximately a year and a half, and it has gone through several different iterations. It's been in a 20 gallon long it's been in a 20 gallon high it is now currently sitting in its 29 gallon um, the particular filter itself has a few pluses and a few drawbacks so for the pluses it's very very quiet you can barely hear the bubbles gurgling at the surface the moving bed ensures that any of the dying or sick beneficial bacteria is swept away, thus keeping your colony strong. Some of the drawbacks is it really works best in a tall tank. So when I had it in my 20 gallon long, I had to have it almost um, three quarter perpendicular and I didn't think I was getting a, a very good job done by it. Uh, so a recommendation would be if you have a tall tank such as a 29, uh, a 20 gallon high, a 65 gallon, anything that has some height to it uh, will give you a better bang for your buck. One of the other things that I'm not too crazy over is the sponge that it comes with is very, very fine. So it does get clogged quite frequently. So you need to be doing a lot of different maintenance on that sponge or try to soup it up. I have not gone that far yet as to try different material in there for sponges, but that's a project for another day. As we can see, we've got some nice long thin white clouds in front of us. I think there's about six of them in this tank. There's also uh, pandacories, and though I never see them, the, uh, there are some clown plecos in here. So there's a fairly decent bio load in here uh, and my ammonia, my nitrates, and my nitrites are always in check in exactly where they should be. So at the end of the day, would I recommend this filter? Absolutely. Again, keeping in mind, it works best in a tall tank. That's it for today, my friends. Please keep checking my channel. I will be posting way more frequently than I have in the last year and a half. And I hope to see you in the comments. Take care.